Hello again have and have not fans, I want to come with you with a new have and have not theory that will blow your mind. It's one of those theories that will make you say, wow, Jeremy is really good because he thought of that before it was in the show. Or one of those theories, well, wow, Jeremy really was out of his mind. With that being said, let's just jump right into this one. The theory for this particular video is, will Jennifer and Wyatt become a thing just like Benny and Veronica did? Now, you're probably wondering why in the heck would Jennifer Salison want anything to do with Wyatt Cryer, given the fact that he admitted to being the one to hit Benny Young and killing little Lizzie. Now, something just caught my attention while watching the preview for next week's episode. Now, if you notice in a kind of a blink and you miss moment, Wyatt kisses Jennifer on the cheek, smiles and walks out of the office and you kind of look at Jennifer's face and it looks like she's kind of like fake smiling like, well, OK, yeah, I helped you out. You're welcome. He smiled and then leaves. You're probably thinking, well, why it just got twelve million dollars. He probably kissed the first person he would see anyway. But looking back at season one, when Benny was in jail under false pretenses, remember, as I said in a couple of the videos that. Candace blackmailed Jim for what was it $100,000 in a new sports car David delivered the car but planted drugs in it that way to have Candace arrested with the drugs in the car to have her put away so she wouldn't bother Jim anymore Benny was on a date with Darcy the nice girl from church who now is the alcoholic Marcy on if loving you is wrong <laughs> funny how things turn out right well in any case Benny's the one who got arrested Long story short, for about a good portion of season one, Benny was in jail until Veronica finally got him out by telling David, hey, you know, you're the one who did this. You're going to get him out or there's going to be some trouble. So after getting rid of the evidence, what happens next? Benny gets out of jail thanks to Veronica. What's the first thing he does? He kisses her on the cheek and she gave a smile that was similar to the face that Jennifer was making after Wyatt gave her a kiss. Now... Looking at season one, again, if you would have told me back then that Benny and Veronica would have had something going on, I wouldn't have paid the, I, I, I wouldn't have believed it. Honestly, I would have not believed it because even I still cannot figure out how they got together. But again, that video will be coming soon with my thoughts about the Benica relationship affair, whatever you want to call it. But again, that's another video. I just think that if the white Jennifer thing happens, that's, you know, pretty interesting a little weird but interesting but at the same time maybe Tyler Perry was just giving a little nod back to season one where hey you know Benny was in a bind but he got out thanks to Veronica kissed her on the cheek Jennifer helped out Wyatt when he was in a bind he gave her a kiss on the cheek and hey I mean I don't know what's going to happen I just want to point that out to you did anybody else catch that blink on your missed moment because if Wyatt and Jennifer do have something going on I mean, for me, the only reason I could, you have to look at it from perspective, comparing Veronica and Benny to Wyatt and Jennifer. Now, Wyatt and Jennifer, I've been spending a lot of time together, not in the romantic sense, obviously. It's more like, hey, you know, I need you and Jeffrey to testify. I need ev evidence about this. I need evidence about that. Because he was in a shady situation being the one to do the hit and run charges. That's like Benny was in a shady situation. He had nothing to do with. It was pretty much wrong place, wrong time kind of thing. Him and Veronica had a lot of sit downs one on one about, you know, hey, I need some information on this. I find it interesting, though, when you compare it, that Wyatt is more willing to testify and give evidence as opposed to Benny, where all he had to do was drop his sister's name. He could have been out of jail a long time ago. But I, I don't know. I mean, Tyler Perry has been taking us on a wild ride this entire series. So if her I mean, if Jennifer and Wyatt do have something going on, first of all, Wyatt's a lucky man. So, Jennifer, if you're watching this video. I grew up watching Coming to America, had a crush on you since I was a kid, just putting that out there. Pretty sure I'm not the only happen to have not fan to have a crush on you, but hey, there it is. In any case, I, I mean, even now I'm trying to sit here, I'm sitting here recording this video trying to put two and two together of why they would get together, but I just know that maybe she does it to stick a knife in Jim even further. I don't know. I, I don't know. The Jim, Jennifer Salison thing. There's something we don't know about it. My guess is Jennifer was the attorney who had the Malone case that Jim let slide in his courtroom. Because remember, again, back to season one, I believe was the ending of episode two. That 
Jim said he knew a guy who made women disappear. And it was one of his first big court cases. He let it go, even though there was a pile of evidence that he was guilty. And every year this man would send him like a holiday or Christmas card or for every single. Basically, he would get holiday cards saying, if you ever need a favor, let me know, which we then most likely later learned that it was the Malones or Malone uh, person or boy that Jim let off the hook. Hence why Mama Rose and him are tight. And Jennifer might have been the attorney on that case. And that cost her big by losing. So, again, Tyler Perry brings things full circle. It's a crazy theory. Even Hey, I'm doing this video about the theory. Even I think the theory is a bit far-fetched. But the evidence, the foreshadowing, the nods back to season one, everything could be going around full circle. That's all I'm saying. So, David pretty much brushed off Jennifer. And if she goes to date on um, Wyatt after that, I mean, hey, he's the only guy that's kind of giving her attention. David and Veronica, they weren't on the rocky foundation that they were in like season two, season three, but there really wasn't too much love there. Well, oh, actually, it was after Veronica found out that David lied to her about the whole candy situation or at least covering things up that that kind of made room for Benny to move in just like at the end of season actually mid-season finale in terms of hey jeffrey just told her off david just told her off i'm gonna get with benny so in the comment section below this theory right here i really want to get some input if you are if you were to have and have nots one of my twitter facebook followers blog fans whatever you want to call or even especially the cast from the show even though they probably can't tell me any secrets from the cast i want to know at least tell me what you think of this theory. If you want to give it a thumbs up, let me know in the comments or a tweet. Crazy theory, it might happen or you never know. Tyler Perry, if you're listening to this, come on now. Give me something. You got to give me something. This is one of those theories I really need some feedback on. So again, subscribe to the channel. Uh, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Let me know in the comment sections below what you think of this theory. And trust and believe I will be doing some more videos before next week's episode because i have at least three or four videos i'm trying to knock out before the end of this weekend so i will talk to you all later